Okay, stateroom U5, U5, but on deck six. Kind of get confused by that. Here is the bathroom, which for a stateroom bathroom, I personally think it's kind of big. Um, whew, ship is moving. <laughs> forward you're near all of the entertainment if you get a room that's in the aft you're near all of the food so and then of course midship is midship but if you have a preference on things you like to be the closest to like for instance the main dining room is closer to the forward part of the ship and then the Lido and the buffet is closer to the aft of the ship so that's just a little tidbit there for when you're booking your um you're booking your room so I'm on my way to the Lido, which is on deck 10. So it's gonna be a little bit of um, a journey. But this ship, this Carnival Paradise ship, is not that big. So it's really not that big of a deal for me to go to forward or aft. And uh, so, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, another thing is right now, we're in the Gulf of Mexico on our way to Roatan. And, um, it's really bumpy and moving, but um, I can feel the ship moving, but I have my little wristbands on, and uh, you can see that down there, my wristbands on, so I'm not really, I'm not getting seasick at all with these wristbands. However, last night when we were at dinner, I had forgotten to put my wristbands on, and it didn't really make me super nauseous, but it did make me feel like I didn't have an appetite, so just a little bit of nausea or something. But yeah, these wristbands have come in handy and they definitely don't make you drowsy. Like, um, like sometimes the medicine will, even if it says less drowsy or non-drowsy, you still feel a little drowsiness. So, crap, I should take the elevator. I'm going all the way up to 10 from six. I must be crazy. Two more floors. Whew. I'm already committed, right? <clears throat> Keep going. Oh mercy. Mercy, mercy. On my floor. I'll definitely be taking the elevator down. Oof. Mercy. Oh gosh. So it's the middle of the day right now on the ship so there's things like bingo going on I just did a dance class they have like um, bingo was going on dance class um, different little prize and sales events you know sort of things like that um, yeah it's kind of humid I did want to say we mention one thing we had an issue with our um our room the air is not working very well so they had to bring us a fan and um they had to bring us a fan and it's helping a little bit with the room but still kind of humid the funny thing is i remember another um cruise person a cruise vlogger that mentioned 
I think it was on this same ship having issues with the air not working in their room. And so I'm really wondering, I want to go back and look at that video, see if it's for the same room. But either way, they'll do their best to try to accommodate you. They did see in maintenance to our rooms like three different times trying to fix it. And um, it's still pretty humid, but the fan is helping a lot. And then there's other areas on the ship that, where you can go where there's air conditioning. So, okay, so this is stateroom five. It is completely forward of the ship. You have staterooms beside it, two staterooms there, the um, employees area. Have a hallway there, a hallway here. These staterooms are all the way forward of the ship. So, and U5 is in the corner. So, as you walk in here, you have your two cabinets to hang your clothes there. You have your safe here. You have two drawers there. Some nice little shelf space here. It goes back pretty far, too. So there's a lot of storage right there. We have some packing cubes there. Those are soup. Those have come in handy so much. I don't think I would travel again without them. It helps you keep your clothes nice and organized. Now see these drawers are here, but they are not very, I mean, that's like nothing. Look at my hand. My hand touches. So it's not a lot of space, but probably, I don't know, I think stuff like that may be more useful for toiletries or something. See, it's not a lot of space in there at all. So, but this is pretty deep. So yeah, you can just use these shelves here and um, that'll probably really help with organizing. I like that they have the magnets so you can keep the door open here. But I'm gonna shut it. And so, have your light switch there for the main cabin that turns on all of the lights at one time and it also turns them off. So if I hit this button, it'll turn off all the lights. Then I hit it again and then all the lights come back on. So that's handy. You can turn off all the lights as you leave or turn them all the way on as you come in. This is for the bathroom lights. And so you walk in, you have your bed. This is I guess when they put these together, this is a king once it's put together. You have your television. You have where we have our luggage. You have two hooks here and another. This is really, this you could use as a hook, I guess, but this is to hold the bathroom door open if you need to. Okay, stateroom U5, U5, but on deck six. Kind of get confused by that. Here is the bathroom, which for a stateroom bathroom, I personally think it's kind of big. Um, whoo, ship is moving. So there's that. Yeah, we must be picking up speed because this ship is definitely moving. I don't know, is that fast for water? For water going? <laughs> So it's a pretty spacious shower. Get in and like I'm in there. Babe, can you uh film me in the shower so people can kind of see the spacious shower that we have here? Will you come and will you come and be my assistant? So I gotta turn it on so I can just kind of let them see. It's kind of spacious. About here, about there. You can move around pretty good. Got handles here. This is your uh, clothesline. You can dry your clothes up here. You can pull it across. Uh, actually, you pull across right here. Hang your swimsuits and stuff on there. So that's nice and nifty. I'm using it to hold my sponge. And then the towel rack. Well, thank you, darling. My lovely husband here being the perfect assistant. Um, so here's the little sink area. There's my feet. Towels. I like this little area here. It's got a nice little shelf, nice little mirror. There's some more shelf space ahead here. So it's not bad. The shower curtain is so cute. I don't want that in my house. 
So yeah, there's the bathroom for you. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna do those two cabinets last because I mean, why not just go ahead and go over the table area here. So we have to have a fan because our air is not blowing out very good here. It's still kind of warm, but we did not have all this junk here. You can see how big I tried to clean this off really and then all of a sudden everything gets back on here. But this is pretty good counter space. If you can kind of see it there. You get two water bottles there. Two water bottles, you see it's four dollars each don't buy that if you really want water in your stateroom pre-order these packs so basically i got these two packs came 4.99 another two packs 4.99 and not 49 4.99 each i got all of these for five dollars and then all of these for five dollars so i spent a total of ten dollars to have all this water which is perfect because i could just put that water right into here Nice little fridge here. We're trying to keep our uh, our wine and our chocolates <laughs> cooled in there. So the water, we just kind of take, we brought these cups from home. I thought maybe someone would say something about us having these cups, but they have not. So we have these cups here. We just fill them with ice and we pour our water bottles in and we just walk around and have water throughout the day. And, um, I brought a cooling bag, a cooler bag, and I'm gonna put some, fill it with ice. When we go ashore, I'm gonna put some of these water bottles in there so we can have some water at shore. So it's a good way to have some water and it's only spent $10 and we're gonna have plenty of water. So you have your refrigerator hidden in this drawer. You have another drawer here. And it's not that deep, you know, it's like, that's about as deep as it gets, but you can hold some things in there. <clears throat> and you have a little bench. So if you want to use this as a vanity makeup area, you could, I think. There you go. There's a vanity light. So if you want to put your makeup on and stuff here, if someone's in the bathroom, you can just sit on this bench and put your makeup on. There's plenty of counter space for that. So we got some shelves here and it's perfect for storage. I got my jewelry bags here, my regular purse, and we got some items there. And I mean, that's pretty nice to have that storage area. So over here, so here's the bed. We have two lights above here. The switches for each one of these lights to turn them on, they're right here. They're right here. So if one person wants to have a reading light on, the other one doesn't have to, they can just turn theirs off. And have another cabinet here. You can store some stuff in there, which we should do instead of having it sitting out. Store this in here. There you go. Has a nice little home. Now here is pretty cool. There's USB port connections of them there which is really nice and then here is a light switch for these two lights here so that's kind of nice and oh I didn't get to show you guys our little towel animal I think this is supposed to be a little cute little doggy hello doggy hello and so yeah overall I think this is a nice little stateroom um, it's spacious enough for us to, so no complaints there. So here's the cabinets here. Pretty cool because you have storage space up there, plenty of hangers, plenty of hangers. I really, for a five day cruise, I can't see me needing more than these hangers. We have plenty of these hangers that's not even being used. So we got our clothes there shoes down there full length mirror that's kind of nice check yourself out before you go out for your evening tonight is formal night so we'll definitely make sure we're all nice and party for tonight we plan
plan to take some pictures. And so there's some shelf space, more hangers, more hanger space. Plenty of space down here. We have our laundry bag there, carry on bag. And in here is an extra, kind of like a, co a comforter. So if you're kind of cold in here, you can put that on and have yourself a nice little comforter. So, yeah, well, I think that completes our stateroom tour. Um, trying to think, is there anything else I want to mention? I think that's it. So, thank you so much for watching. And again, this is uh, Stateroom U5 on the Carnival Paradise. And um, Stateroom U5, Deck 6, all the way forward. All right, well, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.